Hey, good morning, guys. Volatile 42 here. Uh, just heading to work in the morning today. And let me show you something. So, this is my Versus. That's the Vespa. I'm not taking that. And the Versus, as you can see, uh, the rear wheel is missing. And that's because it was uh, due for a tire change. And well, I had a puncture. But since it was due for a tire change anyway, I just took the wheel off. I'll be taking it to the tire shop for the tire change tomorrow. So today, uh, this is my new ride. Uh, an Aether 450 Apex. So I don't have a lot of range, 29 kilometers in sport mode, but uh, that's fine because my office is only around 7 kilometers, 7 or 8 kilometers away. So I can easily get back. And uh, I'll charge it later today after I get back. So why the Aether now? Um, you might be wondering, right? So if you remember, uh, back in 2019, I think, uh, around the time when I got the Vespa, I actually wanted to get the Aether, uh, the 450 back then. There was no X uh, back then. I think that was the first generation 450. Uh, so yeah, back then I wanted to get the 450, but I did not get it for two reasons mainly. One was the extremely long waiting period which was, I think, more than six months at that time. And the other was uh, difficulties in charging where I stay. I know I stay in an apartment back then. Uh, there were no common charging facilities. I would have to uh, put up my own uh, charging point where I park. And that was getting a little difficult because of various, you know, uh, approvals that were needed so yeah I kind of dropped the idea but yeah I think the waiting period was the main reason I wasn't really willing to wait for almost a year to get it uh, so back then I got the Vespa because I was in a kind of desperate need for a second bike a second uh, um, two-wheeler uh, for city commutes and uh, so on because back then my primary bike was the Harley Sportster, which was, you know, not great for uh, city use. Oh, gravel, gravel, gravel. Oh. <clears throat> okay. So this doesn't have ABS, so that's kind of... Uh, a bit of a concern on such surfaces. But you know, most scooter ABSs are kind of a joke anyway, uh, the small ones. Even my Vespa, which has uh, ABS in the front, it's you know, kind of useless. Uh, so, yeah, now. Um, I was kind of thinking of replacing the Vespa because, yeah, the performance wasn't bad, but I was kind of looking for something a little better. 
Um, and now, you know, we don't have to wait so long for ATERS anymore. Um, it is possible to charge uh, from uh, shared or common uh, charging uh, power outlets at uh, my apartment and uh, and uh, yeah the ATOs themselves had improved quite a bit you know uh, the X uh, 450X and recently they launched this uh, Apex the 450 Apex now I'm not going to go into the details of how the Apex is better than the X, uh, you know, what the differences are. I'm sure you've, if you're interested, there are plenty of other videos uh, detailing those things. Mm, looks like the truck is broken down. Okay, so for me, the performance was a big factor. Uh, I mean, the 450X itself, it goes up to 90 kilometers per hour, has pretty good uh, acceleration, uh, but this uh, does 100, which in itself is not a big difference, of course, it's just 10 kilometers per hour more. But from what I've heard, see, I've not ridden the uh, 450X, but from what I've heard, this one accelerates better at the higher speed ranges, like say even above 70 or so. Uh, so yeah, that is something I was looking for. Um, I like the looks of the Apex. And I also wanted to try out the Magic Twist, which is the, you know, um, D-cell or region control uh, by twisting the throttle grip uh, the other way, you know, twisting it forward. So that lets you control uh, exactly how much regen you want and it is pretty strong i mean if you saw me riding back there uh, i was using that quite a bit um, not just using my brakes and uh, yeah it does take some time to get used to but uh, you can Husky. Is it the 201 or the 401? I don't know. So how am I liking it? Quite a lot actually. Um, of course it's uh, purely for uh, city use. Uh, you can do highway speeds. I mean it can do up to 100. But I'm pretty sure that uh, at those speeds uh, the range will be quite low. You know. So it will be quite impractical for highway use unless it's for a very short stretch but for city use it's really uh, quite good I mean you get very good uh, acceleration and get up to speeds you want to do pretty quickly the magic twist uh, uh, region control that lets you control the region and uh, slow down without using the brakes and recover more of the energy once you get used to it, it does take some time. Because, see, the thing is, when you roll off the throttle and uh, roll the other way, 
it gets difficult to uh, access your front brake at the same time. And the regen is of course not strong enough for any emergency situations and you always have to be prepared to stop, you know, say if the car in front of you brakes suddenly. So you always have to be ready for the actual brakes, not just the regen. Uh, so, you know, positioning your hand uh, in a way that you can do both, that's what uh, is a little difficult initially until you get used to it. And the running cost, of course, everybody knows uh, it's very, very uh, inexpensive to run this. You know, compared to uh, petrol or gasoline costs for a regular scooter or motorcycle, this is very cheap. <coughs> okay, even though my charge is a little low, uh, let me show you the Warp Plus mode on this. It's not that much different from the sport mode, I think. Yeah, you get a little more acceleration. And in, only in this mode you can do the uh, top speed of uh, 100 km per hour. I think sport can uh, take you up to 80 or 90. And it, for a long time I was actually riding only in warp plus mode because you know, if you ride sedately in any mode, you can still get high uh, range figures. So, with Warp Plus, you know, I prefer to stay in a higher mode because that lets me accelerate if I need to without having to change modes. Uh, but at the same time, if I'm not going fast, uh, I can still uh, get uh, good range. So I'm at work, uh, that was a short introduction to my new ride, the Aether 450 Apex, I'll end this uh, vlog here, and maybe I'll do some more uh, soon. So that's all for now, uh, take care guys, ride safe, see ya.